Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Netflix here, and today is a new Blu-ray release Tuesday. And the big releases today was were Sonic the Hedgehog 2 on 4K Blu-ray and DVD, and the 4K exclusive Steelbook from Best Buy. Um, and then you have the Heat 4K Steelbook from Best Buy. And then you have the Crimes of the Future on Blu-ray. Um, and then you have the most disturbing A24 movie. Um, men i did not like it at all um so yeah but one of the things that i got today was the sonic the hedgehog 2 still look which i do like it looks really nice and it comes with a plastic slip cover like the lionsgate still looks which i think paramount is starting to do now um because one of the still looks that also came out today was event horizon um so that also comes with a plastic slip cover um but yeah here you do have a j card which is not the plastic slip cover so yeah in the front you have sonic and tails um and then in the t you can kind of see knuckles and this too is this poster art or the front cover is supposed to re uh, represent the uh sonic 2 video game uh back i think in the 90s um, so yeah, you have Jim Carrey in the back holding the two, and then you have the temple thingy. Um, so yeah, I did see this in theaters when it, when it came out, um, I saw it in XD. Uh, this first one, in my opinion, is way better, because the animation for Tails and, uh, Knuckles it was a little sloppy like when they talk it just doesn't match up like how it looks in the uh, original how sonic talked in the original one so yeah um so yeah in the back you have this scene from the movie where uh sonic and knuckles are battling against against each other and it says even better than the first which Again, no, I can't agree on that. Um, and then you have kind of like the we kind of like uh, where you first see Tails in the movie, and then like the end credits of the Sonic, the first Sonic movie, where you see Tails, and uh, you have them in I think Hawaii. You have Donald War, which I'm gonna keep on calling him, uh, and then uh, I don't remember her nickname, but Sonic gave her. And then you have, uh, why am I just blanking on his name? It's Top and Robotic, but, uh, I forgot his other nickname. So, yeah, it is rated PG for action, some violence, rude humor, and mild language. And it is, uh, 122 minutes. So, yeah, the spine. I think I know the spine. Then you do have the top. Um, so this does not come with the comic book like the first one did. Um, so yeah. And then, I don't think I posted the video yet, but I did, uh, buy the still book from Best Buy. So, cause I don't want to make it like me having the regular Blu-ray and then me having this, uh, still book. Like, that's just gonna be annoying cause most of my movies are, are like that. Like, I have, um... Let's see, I have Spider-Man Homecoming and Spider Spider-Man Far From Home, both on Blu-ray, regular Blu-ray. Except for Homecoming, that's a Target exclusive. Um, and then I have no both No Way Home still looks. Um, so yeah, it's really annoying. Again, what's with all the dust on the still books? It's just really annoying. Also, something on the still look as well. Um, I don't know what it is. So, I caught it that time. So, what I'm gonna do when I just want to like take it out is just like I'm just gonna put the J card in the slip because then it's more neat, uh, neater, um, or more neat as correct grammar. 
Uh, so yeah, here you have front, back, spine. Um, so I don't, I don't really know why they just decided to just add the whole entire border thing. Cause like, it just takes up a lot of space. So yeah, um, and then you have the front right here, the whole entire complete front, and the back, and which is the uh, scene from the J card, same artwork as the J card. And then I will be redeeming the digital code, of course. Um. So yeah. Um. Uh, again, this does not come with the comic book but Best Buy did do a release or yeah and then where it shows where you have a little mini steelbook you have the regular 4k and you have uh, the comic book and everything you have character cards uh, two comics for this one actually so yeah and from the phone down um so here you have the 4K, and then you have the Sega logo. And when I first, when I saw an unboxing video of this, I'm like, okay, why'd they mess up on the tail? Like this has for the two, like there's a tail right there. I'm like, but why did they mess it up for the Blu-ray? Well, you just gotta get the correct lighting, and then you can kind of see an outline right there of the two, which is really thin. I don't know. I do not know why. So yeah, and then for the inside, you do have this nice artwork w with kn Knuckles and uh, Dr. Robotnik and Sonic and Tails. I, I really like that artwork. It's really nice. Um, I, the Walmart exclusive does look nice, but they, it's just, regular blu-ray and dvd i think or regular Blu just regular blu-ray um so yeah it, it comes with a comic book i believe or an art book i think I, I don't remember um but yeah and then next week uh which i did know it was coming out the uh 4k still 4K, the 4K Steelbook and regular Blu-ray, and collection of the uh, Jurassic World Dominion is uh, releasing, or it was it next week? I don't think it's next week. But on uh, August 16th, the Jurassic World Dominion is uh, being released. And then maybe on the 26th, it, uh, Paramount hasn't released, uh, released a date yet for the Top Gun Maverick uh, Blu-ray, which... I believe is August 26th, and that is the release date. So yeah, um, I did put the J card like I said I would in there, and see how it's kind of like a big space right there. I took out the Blu-ray that was um, that covered up the spot right next to Sonic. Now I add second side. And whoa! I just realized how small the spine is. And why did they do that? That is just terrible. And they got rid of, I just realized, I believe my friend Martin Gomez, go, uh, Martin the Movie Collector, go subscribe to his channel. Um, he, he said that they got rid of the red border around the hedgehog, and they actually did. I totally forgot that he mentioned that one time. I don't know why they did that. Like, that was a good feature. I like, I like that. Um, so yeah. I will not be getting men ever, um, but yeah, I do have stuff coming for September and October maybe, and they did release the artwork for Nope, and I believe that, I don't remember if I talked about this or it even the artwork was even released yet, but the artwork for the Nope 4K Steelbook from Best Buy, I don't know how I feel about it, like, I'm starting to like it, but it, like, the art artwork is just so random, like, the front is just like it looks like uh, one of those little gut gutter holes, like at like when the opening where the water spills out. It looks like that. It, you would know if you've seen the movie. Um, in the back you just have the uh, helmet, which is just random. 
the inside you have the whole entire map with the uh, pins and everything and you have the monopoly uh, pieces so yeah and the blu-ray disc i really like uh where it says n and then the, the, the little disc hole where the, where the hole is in the disc that is the o and then you have the p and e and then the 4k disc it show, shows the x-ray of the skull and then you have the little coin right on the next next uh to the ear i believe so yeah, um, that was a really good movie. I really enjoyed it. My dad did not like it, but my brother really liked it. And yeah, it was just a really f amazing movie by Jordan Peele. Um, so yeah, uh, that's all that I have for today. I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.